Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tammy. Please stick around and for my returning viewers, welcome guys. Thank you so much for continuing to support me. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So today's video, as you already know, it's going to be a, you know, a first impression and as well as a first try of the Wahala palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm just so excited to get into it and show you what you know what I can create now just to before we get into that I just want to read a little bit of what this palette is about the back of it has has very important information regarding what the Wahala palette is about and how to better use it I guess so I'm going to read a few of you know what that is about so that you know anyone that chooses to buy it right now it's out of stock but I believe Juvia's Place mentioned that they're going to have a temporary restock. So once it goes back in restock, make sure to pick it up if you're really if you're interested in that. And also make sure to use some of the codes of other YouTubers who are, I guess, on their PR PR list, because I'm not. I bought this out of my own um, you know, using my own money. But like Ohima Bonsu, you can use Ohima or Fumi, Fumi de Salut They both have codes that you could use to get 10% off. Um, when you're checking out to buy this this is retails at $36 but with 10% off you are paying a little less now <clears throat> I have what I what I've been kind of studying I guess or researching regarding my eyes and the shape of my eyes you know I obviously don't have the eyes people um, the type of eyes that has a lot of space you know um, eyeshadow space there and it's called it's either hooded eyes is what I kind of lean towards between hooded eyes and what you call a closed set eyes I'm going to see if I can pop up some type of a screenshot of something that what I've been researching and trying to figure out regarding the type of eye shape that I have that would and how to put um, eyeshadow on to fit my eye shape and if you have similar eye shape hopefully this would help you out how, as well and um, obviously um, I don't have eyes like Jackie Aina, um, Nikki Tutorial and all these other beauty gurus or whatever you want to call them they have you could tell they have enough eye space and they also have the skill to be able to create good eye looks and I'm like I said I'm not a um, I don't know if I said it but I've said it before though I'm not a makeup artist or whatever but I do like putting makeup on and I have a video coming out of a makeup haul that I did with Alter and I believe Juvia's Place and hopefully you guys get to catch that so the back of the Wahala Juvia's Place this is what the box looks like the, on the back of it, it explains what Wahala means and Wahala is a Nigerian word, a translation for drama, trouble and intensity, often used as a word and a slang in Nigerian Pidgin English. A drama palette is a powerful selection of contrasting colors which exemplifies our inner struggles and beliefs. Defending and owning your beauty in an artistic way regardless of societal norms and standards. Our definition of a rainbow palette in its most beautiful authentic and dramatic form so there are pressed pigments which and they're like it's they're matte and they're glitter and also um, shimmer palettes in this I mean yeah shimmer shades in this palette about four glitter palettes and about seven shimmer palettes and maybe about nine matte shades so it's a total of about 20 shadows in here and there they it includes matte shimmer and metallic or glitter um, shades in here and for me oh in the bottom here it says that fire over sabi unsilenced woke busybody yanga are not intended for use around the immediate eye area so i don't know what that means exactly but i'm going to guess immediate eye area is like maybe close to your eyelid to get in that would easily get into your eye so I would suggest maybe those shades fire is actually it says fire over sabi on silenced this is woke this is the shade woke it's also on in the list of that woke um, over sabi where is that this is fire and this is on silenced over sabi busy buddy is right here and yanga right here this is this shade here it's blue but it also turns pink it has a shade it's, uh, it's like a shift shifting color here from good blue like a teal blue and also like a green in there anyways those apparently are not intended for 
use around the immediate eye area. So I'm gonna try my best to remember that and not use it around my immediate eye area. From what I've learned, I believe um, if you are not like a makeup artist or whatever, or like the best with makeup, you just try to go with a color scheme that has been created here. So for me, I'm gonna see if I can work with these shades here and probably jump to the middle with this um, yellow one here as well. And this is over Sabi. It's meant to be used in the upper area. So I'm going to try my best to create a look. I don't know what look I'm looking for, going for, but I know that I'm going to stick with this color scheme here in order to not go overboard or do too much. So yeah, let's get right into that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. First, I'm going to also line my eyebrows with my e.l.f. pencil. Then I'm going to fill it in with my bro pomade so i did my one of my eyebrows i'm gonna do the other one on camera real quick so that you guys can see okay, so and because this is my first time doing my eye shadow look before my foundation I'm hoping that I'll be able to do this the right way, the best way, because it's my first time doing it. I've never done my, my eyeshadow before, my foundation before. So I'm just gonna clean up my mascara. I mean, I'm a mascara. I'm gonna clean up, clean, clean up my eyebrows after, I guess, when I'm putting on my foundation. So I'm gonna start with my primer, um, eyeshadow primer. And this is the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primer. And then I'm also gonna use an eyeshadow base as well I learned from Ohima that a primer does not necessarily I mean it does what it needs to do which is to set your um, eyeshadow but the base if you're gonna be using um, I guess any kind of eyeshadow in order to get a good color payoff you know you use a base so I'm gonna try that technique by first applying my primer I'm gonna be using the EOS 08 brush to apply the eyeshadow primer And the idea is to not look up so that your eyeshadow does not crease when you're applying the eyeshadow, the color itself. So I'm gonna try my best to not look up as much. That way when I'm when it's done, it I don't have that creasing line, you know. And this is totally beneficial, I guess, for those, for everyone that when you once you look up, you know, like you know, you look up, then your eye it starts creasing. You don't want that. And now I'm going to apply the base, which is the NYX Professional Makeup um, Eyeshadow Base in the shade Skin Tone. Apparently that's a skin tone shade. I have the same brush. I have two of that EO, um, ES08 brush and I'm using that to apply to apply my eyeshadow base. And I'm tapping it, tapping it down. Look at that. I see the difference, I guess. Hmm. And I'm applying it in that crease section exactly especially right there now if I look up it's going to make a crease that's for sure I'm gonna wait for it to dry down actually I'm gonna blow it down blow it so it could dry down a bit I don't want to go too far into my brow bone I need to leave a little bit of space oh I looked up right, it hasn't started creasing yet so I'm going to now go into the Wahala palette. I'm gonna be going into the shade BU since it's not meant to be used around the eyes, but I mean around close to the eye, I'm gonna put it right here. And also because I have post set eyes, it's always best to add, to add dark shades, darker shades at the outer corner of my eye and then lighter shades in the in, inner corner inner part of my eye so i'm just gonna add that all over like so like on the outer part of my eye this is my first time trying a, a look like this so if it turns out good great if it doesn't it's okay that's what learning is all about anyway so i'm not dragging it because the eyeshadow base is doing its job by just um holding on to the color i guess 
I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dipping a lot either. So I'm just tapping onto my eyes and it's doing a really good job of holding onto that color. Now I'm going to go into um, Woke, which is this really light shade here. And I'm just gonna go right here around, right below BU. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a different brush, which is a bit smaller, rounder brush. I'm trying not to look up because I don't want my eyebrows, eyeshadow to crease. So I'm gonna go into Unafraid, which is the a meta, um, not a metallic, a shimmer shade. And I'm gonna go right at my lid area. And I think I've, I watched someone else's video where she said, when she was applying hers, she also wet her brush, but all my brushes are dry, they're not wet. And I think it's still doing a good job of, of adhering to my lid. I'm going to go back in with a different brush, a little bit of a kind of a round flat brush. And I'm going to go back into Woke again, just so I can make sure it shows up a little bit in between BU and unafraid all right now i'm going to use my finger and go into envy i'm gonna put it right on the ball of my eye and i'm just patting it down i'm not going to do i'm gonna move it i'm just gonna pat see how my i look up and now my crease is not there anymore because i let the base dry and another thing I might do now is I'm going to clean out all right here because it looks good but it doesn't flatter my face is what I'm gonna is what I'm trying to see here so, so I'm gonna wipe like this part of my eyes here I feel like it's not complementing or flattering my my face as well so I'm gonna wipe it off good thing I don't have my foundation on see how that makes sense. Maybe I'll start doing my my eyes before my foundation from now on. I think maybe because of my eye shape. See, when you have close set eye, you don't want bold look to be coming too further into your eye. You want it to stay in the corner so that it can it wouldn't look like it's overshadowing or overpowering your whole look. So I'm gonna wipe a little bit more. Yeah, now that looks better, way better. All right. So now, I like the way it looks now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back in with BU and just sort of put BU a little bit more in the corner here so that it can, and then kind of fade it out. But maybe I'll, actually I'm not gonna add any more, I'm just gonna use what's on the brush already. So as you can see, it looks much, much better. I think I'm gonna leave, leave it here. I, I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I like the way it looks, not too much and not too crazy. All right, I'm gonna do my other eye and then I'm gonna put my eyelashes on and my foundation on or whatever. And I'll see you guys soon. So I did both my eyes, exact same way, but I'm thinking of just adding sis, just to a little bit to the corner here, just a little bit, just to give it like a nice dark push, I guess, because I feel like BU is dark but not dark enough that you can't really see it with um, you know on my skin I guess I don't know but it it's 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 a nice dark dark purple or I guess plum yeah, it's a dark plum sh purple shade but I'm thinking of just adding just a little bit of sis like right here just a little bit just to give it like a nice smoky look so this is my final look. It looks great. I love it. It looks really, really pretty. I hope you guys like the look. Please do like this video as well as subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would appreciate you to join this family and also share, you know, if you'd like to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.